Hi Angels, I'm Miss Quiet Queen and you are now tuned into the Quiet Queen Project. First of all, let me say thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Um, I appreciate everyone and all of your support. And um, you can please continue to support this channel. It's getting better. Um, but I want to do a quick video. I'd like to talk about the um, the end of days and how to tell the end of days and what to do. I did um, set up to do a live, but that didn't work out. I had to work. So I totally forgot that I had set that live. Um, okay, so what I want to talk about, and I did write just some things down. You know, I have been really feeling a little um, melancholy, anxious, and um, depressed, um, but more, more anxious and kind of, yeah, just anxious about um, what's going on in our world right now and what we're going through as a people and individually as well. Um, okay, so let's get right into the end of the day, the, the um, notes that I have concerning the end of days. The first thing I like to bring up, there, there are five points that I kind of trying to categorize everything as I, much as I can. Um, the first thing is the, there's a sense of anticipation. In the world, if you can, you can sense something's going on. Something is happening in our world um, where you just understand it. You know, probably what I mean by a sense of something happening. Once I finish reading everything, but you know, never doubt yourself or doubt. Don't doubt what you feel inside. Um, something is happening. I look at some YouTube channels and some messages that some people give and they say they they discourage people for waiting for an event. Instead, they're saying the event is you, the event is inside you. And that is true, but for some there is an event that is going to happen. Those who really feel like that event is not no event is going to happen per se. It's just something that you need to do. Yeah, that's true for some people. There are some people who are, let's see, how can I put this? Um, subjects of interest, like the 12 tribes of Israel. Let me just say it. People always hear, for years, 144,000, it has something to do with the 12 tribes of Israel, 12, or 12 tribes of Judah, who's been spread all over the world. Everybody know why now, that's the melanated people. Well, the, each 12 tribes, this is what um, Spirit was telling me, each of those 12 tribes are looking for 144,000 people. So don't, don't fret for those who are waiting. There's not just one set of 144,000. Now, there are people who are not a part of that 12 tribe. And they want to feel like, okay, uh, what's, what's going to happen to us? Because I personally don't believe there's no Jesus coming back to save anybody. Okay? Um, there's different ways that our stories would pan out. So for some... They won't be a part of any 144,000. So therefore, the event is within you. You need to change you. Now, this one um, light worker or group says to um, change your reality. They said three or four times a day, you need to imagine beams of laughter, light, happiness all over the world. I believe that. And I do that. I meditate on that all the time. I've been doing that for years. But the more of us that know that all we need to do is sit in our macabre or sit someplace quiet and think happy thoughts, we can destroy 
the demon that is the demons or <laughs> groups that are running our world you know the powers that used to be that still want to be but they are now understanding that their time is up okay so i'm spending too long on that so that's basically um anticipation you know when something is going to happen whether it's interior or exterior okay remember that and if you have any questions about any of these topics let me know or let me know okay the economy the economy is changing if you're going to start to experience things in the extreme either way whether the economy is going to crash or the economy looks like it's doing pretty good. Here in Ohio, there's so many jobs available here. I know that Ohio is the heart of the Republican state. It's the uh, Republican Party. And it's also the heart of the conservative. You know, this is an extremely conservative state. In fact, it's so conservative, it's, 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 it chokes me. I, I hate how conservative they are here. Shit shuts down at nine o'clock. <laughs> and it's just like everybody's so snooty and uppity and stuck up and no, we can't laugh but twice a day and it only has to be on Tuesday. You know what I mean? That type of thing. I mean people don't really say that, but they just very stuck up and um it's a lot of a lot of races out here, but there's so many jobs. There's so many jobs out here. I had to go into contemplation and ask, I mean, it, it's like people are desperate to find people to work and nobody's work. I mean, what's going on with the people in Ohio? I mean, what happened? I had to go into contemplation and ask spirit, please help me understand why would I, in the state of Ohio, there's a mass amount of jobs that other places there isn't. Spirit said that because some people are missing. Ohio is a very sneaky state. It's a private state. It is a state that was uh, uh, has been adopted by wealthy people. And many of these wealthy people want to be anonymous. Many of them, I live near um, the town that I'm in. And you go through their neighborhoods, they watch you like a hawk. It's just a regular old neighborhood. The houses ain't no more than 250000 You know, anywhere from 100000 250000 houses. They're not that expensive. Um, but they want to be incognito. So Spirit told me that people are, some are being trafficked. Some, like we used to have, get a lot of Amber Alerts in Ohio. Um, so, but mainly... The reason why so many jobs because there are no people are gone. They're either shifted and we just forgot who they are because they shift into another reality, or they actually made their exit out of here. I believe in time traveling. I know that it happens. It exists, and there is. I believe that Ohio is the portal. It, it is a portal, not the only portal, but it is a portal um, where a lot of these um, travelers come in and out of. And it's just that there's so, you know, the economy, either you feel it really harsh, like in Michigan, I don't think there's very many jobs there. You know, so it's either one way or the other with that. Okay, that's the economy. The third thing that you can notice um, to know that, that we're at the end of days is um, the bravery of people. You know we're all slaves. Everybody is a slave in this world. No matter what your race is, where you're from, what country you're from, every living human being on the planet is a slave. Earth is a prison planet. Okay? It's a slave planet. It's a prison planet. Everybody is a slave. Even white supremacists, they're slaves. They tend to think that they're the cream of the crop. Actually, they're the bottom of the barrel, to be honest, because to only function and to only want to function off hate just means um, you have a lack of intelligence. 
unintelligent people operate off of hate only and only choose to operate off of hate. And unintelligent people hate other people just because of why they, the way they look. There's a lot of that energy. And that brings me back, that brings me to number four. And that is mass spells. The 3% or the 1% that, was it 3% that rule? They have been practicing, this is what Spirit is telling me, mass spells. Okay. The mass spells I'm talking about, have you noticed in the black community, there's a lot of people talking hate about themselves. Black people are the only group of people that Google and YouTube really um, help promote hate with. You know, there's a lot of people coming up talking about, you know, white people that are, you know, expressing, yeah, this is going on now. I understand what's happening. They see now that there truly is a, a white privilege. They see now that the powers that be or that were had a whole lot of secret agendas. There's a lot of people that are about to get busted on a lot of different things. Um, and it, things are going to start to come out. Now the mass spells were performed to keep us in check and to encourage those who are weak minded to do their agenda. They do mass spells with placenta, um, aborted fetuses, um, the blood when you go to the doctor. What do you think some of this blood goes to? You know, they do a lot of stuff. Like with Google, keep your inform like like Google keeping your information and selling it. Um, they hold on to everything, even if you you know where. where Whatever website you go to, they never erase it. They sell your information. So if you ever looked at porn on your phone like I have, I mean, I'm normal. Me and my husband, we do our thing. So they want to say, they probably, they want to hold that against people, especially light workers. Well, I'm going to tell them myself. So you're not going to embarrass me because I went to a certain site. It's for adults. I'm grown. He's grown. She's grown. They grown. I just don't like how they feel like they have the right to hold on to people's information. Um, and there was a website where you can go to now. You don't have to do that. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, Duck, Duck, Go, I believe. I think I'm going to sign up for that if, if, if after I do some research to see if they're up and up, if they're true. But anyway, Google is like that, and, and that's how... They, this is owned by the CIA, which is also owned by the 3% that rules the world. Um, so they put mass spells on people through certain things to hold us back. But now it's not, it's the, the, um, the spells are expiring and their power is, com is coming to an end. And that is because our time for being in this misery, for being trapped in this um, reincarnation trapped, being locked in this reincarnation trap is, is coming to an end. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy for that because I'm tired. I'm tired. We as black women, we're tired. And you want to say, well, um, Queen, why you got to bring up race? Because... Y'all making it about race. Society is making it all about race. If you notice, they I believe that mass spells is being put on our black men to hate black women because woman was first. Woman is what? They say God. You know? Um, black woman specifically, there's something very, very particular and special about us. We were melanated people were the ones on top and to be perfectly honest with you we started slavery um we fell from grace we broke the covenant so we had to suffer for thousands of years 
But now the suffering is over. The tribes of Judah will now be saved. And other folks who don't fit in those tribes but deserve a chance to live and be happy can find eternal light within themselves. And this is why there are so many different alien type species, human type species here to help us all. What brings me, which brings me to my fifth and final point, which is the coming of or acknowledging of alien life and other humans who live on other planets. Did you not know that there are people like you and me, it looks like you and I, um, that live on other planets with running water, electricity, buildings, cars, grocery stores, fields, <laughs> hospitals. Yeah, just like our world. There are other worlds just like it. There are other planets just like it. The thing is, we have been so protected. We have been here. This planet has had a quarantine around it. We were like in a bubble, like that photon bell, like a big bubble. We were, we are inside that, and no one was able to get in to do anything. They stopped it. They 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 erect this bubble when um certain groups found out that or realized that certain entities aliens whatever you want to call it are trying to come through down there are over they say over 1100 species on planet right now different um, life species we're going to find that out many of them are masquerading looking like us so when people say if some of them don't have uh, our best interests at heart some of them disguise themselves to look like a black man and go rob somebody that has happened. Some of them describe, um, disguise themselves as white police officers and beat the hell out of somebody and get away with it. I mean, a lot of this stuff is happening, but it's all coming to an end because the Amin race was one of the originator, original races that created human-like species to help with the work that they needed or wanted to be done here on Earth. Um, our Mother Earth, Mother Nature system was created by melanated women and this is the reason why the powers that be hates melanated women because it starts with us first. We got the power. They've been trying to steal our birthright. They um, went so far as to lift the black man up over us. They didn't want to do that. But the only way they can get into the gates of heaven is through the womb. Okay, you get your DNA from your mother. You don't get your DNA from your father. So when race, I'm talking about race missing. Why am I doing that? But so anyway, I, I'm not going to get all into that. I, I just would want to say that the fight, I made a video before when Spirit first gave me this information that the fight, the true fight is between black women and white men. When we were way back when we were like on in, when we were all queens and kings, gods and goddesses or whatever, um, the black woman was the head the black man just got the shit done, okay? We we made the ideas, we created the ideas, and we said, here, black man, this is what we need done. They made it happen. They were the movement. Um, a lot of people don't like to hear this type of talk, but it doesn't mean, because we're talking about it, does not mean that other races aren't important, that other races should love themselves and lift themselves up. It's okay. It only seems like when black people start talking about supporting black businesses, keeping the dollar in our uh, community, um, asking the black men to please come back home, date your black women, 
Uh, we can say that to black women too, but it's harder to when a black woman goes out of her race for her to want to come back and do this work because we are the teachers. Melanated women, we are the teachers of the entire earth. And you got to really be on that page, okay, and wanting to do that. And if you're in a biracial relationship, you're going to be stagnated. But brothers who are, in, um, are dating outside of their race, I say, once you, if you're not in that, race, that relationship anymore, come on back home. Come on back home. So, uh, we need you. You know, um, there's some, a lot of things, a lot of information that I, I've gotten a hold to that I'm going to reveal soon. My mentality is changing. My feelings are changing about a lot of things, um, especially what I talk about here on my platform. I have a variety of people that listen to me from different races. I want you all to have an open mind. Please do not unsubscribe to me because I'm talking more about race. Society is pushing that down our throat right now. We are at the end of days, and this is why they are pushing this down our throat because they want to incite a race war because anything they can do to slow down the progress of the chosen ones to slow down the progress of the tribes of Israel finding their their children. Because if you have a race where somebody gonna die, okay, they're just trying to slow it down and grasping at straws because they're trying so hard to hold on to power. Why do you think that, and this is all governments, because all governments over the world basically is ran by men and mostly white men. But why do you think the the British em, Empire has allowed um, their prince to marry a black woman? And people will say, she's not black, she's mixed. Damn it, she's black. Okay? Her mother was black, so she's black. Now, if her mother was white, I would say, okay, she's mixed. She's not black. Because you get your day. Remember, you get your DNA from your mother. Okay, not your father, your mom. Okay, so I don't care how dark you are. If your father is black and your mom is white, you have mostly Caucasian um, or European, I should say, ancestry. Look it up. I'm not making this up. Look it up. But if it was the other way around, you're black. Not quite sure where I was going with that, but y'all could piece it together. You're pretty, pretty smart to have a, a, a wise audience. But um, that was those were the five things. Remember, um, there's a sense of anticipation. The economy will go ex uh, from one extreme to another. Um, the bravery and humanity, people are speaking up on the bullish that's going on. No matter what your race is, people are starting to wake up and say, whoa, wait a minute. That don't sound right. Okay. And the fourth one is mass spells. People are, they're doing mass spells to, um, cover up the truth, to slow down progress. Uh, they're, they're trying to get these, uh, time travelers to stop things from happening be careful be careful when somebody approaches you or your family um and also the coming of uh, the acknowledgement of alien life on other planets so remember those things okay it's very very important i didn't want to go back and talk about the bravery of humanity humanity people are just um, they're, they're tired and we're speaking up whereas before people wouldn't even say the word Illuminati without going oh my god okay so you can't say that because you can get in a lot of trouble why are you feeding into fear why are we feeding into fear I can't stand to hear people in a so called conscious community people say I want to improve my spirituality I want to grow I was talking to this one brother um, from California, he he has two children, 
And he was like, you know what? I was thinking about that. I'm going to stop talking so strongly about certain things because I got kids and I don't want them to hurt them. I said, you, you speaking from a place of fear. I used to talk to him. He said, you, I said, you speaking from a place of fear. Don't give in to the fear. There's only 3% that controls. How is that possible? Because they know mass spells, but the spells are... They're expiring, so they can't. And then other light workers, powerful light workers from other realms, are here to help us. Okay, so there's they're slowing down. But how is it possible for three percent to control everybody? That's exactly how it is possible. There's more of us than it is of them. So we all put our heads together. We can conquer this. But everybody needs to start respecting each group. So I want to say to all of you, when melanated people start to stand up and say, hey, that's 45 million pe black people in this country, I think, or the world, in the country, in this country. A minimum of 45 million. I think maybe when pe we get together, people feel nervous because Black people spend their money in everybody else's circle but ours. That's another mass spell that has been put on our people. When they get our DNA, they put all that DNA together. I'm telling you, this is what I'm picking up and I believe it. They put all that shit together in some cauldron and they do their whoosh, I'm on all, whatever. At the full moon, they wait till we have a... Uh, uh, a blood moon, a blue moon, they do it on full moons, they do it on waxing moons, they have rituals that they do on waning moons, they have rituals where they call out certain people's names. If you are an influencer of any sort, they're calling out your names during these damn uh, rituals. They they kidnap people, they, they cut up chickens, they do whatever they can to call on necromancers and demons to help them stay in, in control, but it's not working anymore. And I'm not really sure why, other than that the time has expired, but it's been expired. Their time was really up a while ago, but they were given grace time. That is because of the different rituals. So now these rituals coming out. One more you hear Chris Brown talking about he don't like black women. Kodak Black talking about he don't like black women. Somebody said black people are evil. Uh, was it Joe Button? Why all of a sudden are black people coming out with all of the mess that we are going through at the hands of law enforcement? Why would you come out and be so disrespectful about your own? See, this is my thing. I know that we as a people, we need to heal. But I think if we have an issue with one another, let's talk about that in clo behind closed doors, away from other races. Because when we disrespect ourselves and each other, that gives the license to other races to disrespect you too. This is why black women are constantly put down. We're the least protected. We're the least respected. And we're the uh, most misunderstood. Because black men, y'all have we have failed ourselves. But you have failed us. We have failed each other. No one should feel comfortable enough. No man should feel comfortable enough beating on a woman in public. Did y'all remember what happened in Texas with that white guy just pounding that sister in her face? No, where was the Nation of Islam who always say we got to defend our sisters? Where was any black man? I saw one brother that came with all the way to Texas from wherever he was from. Looking for this person. Why, you know, if it was anybody else, they would be rallying around. But when black people get up, people get nervous. So they're like, just like the white chick that um, tried to, uh, she tried to read Kofi. Remember the guy from Queen Sugar? Fine brother, too. He was speaking up for black women saying how he loved us, giving credit to his mother, telling her how much he appreciates her, telling her how much he loves her. You are a strong black woman, mom. This white lady says, why don't you say all women are strong? I want to say, bitch, all women didn't raise him. Why is it always about you? Why do white people, specifically white women, sorry, 
Always got to make it about you. We are always being told, no, white, black woman, no, 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 no. You too ugly. You too bitter. You too strong. You too confident. You too this. You too that. You, y'all take everything from us. Our culture. You want our lips. You want our hair. You want our breasts. You want our butt. You want our men. You adopt our children. You know, and now they're doing these mad spells to make these celebrities talk about black women because they know what's coming. They see the future, y'all. Time traveling is real. They know what's happening in the future. Mother Nature, the women that brought that system, they are here. And they know that the next president after Trump is a black woman, a young black woman. It's something going down. Or they say, don't wait for an event. Oh, you don't wait for an event, but we are going to wait for the event because it's happening. Stay tuned for more. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, please leave it down below. If you are a subscriber, please check to make sure you subscribe. Still subscribe because YouTube, they're, they're fake and they're owned by Google. And they don't want certain ones of our channels to prosper. So please make sure that you are um, still subscribe to my channel thumbs up leave a comment my um, husband's channel is Queen City Prepper please go and check him out yeah he's getting ready to do more videos and I think that's all I have to say for now I appreciate you all for watching everybody thank you Stand alive.